Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to watch the 10th episode of Fantasy Bishoujo. That is right, I have not dropped the show. I am a week or so behind on it, but I am watching it. I do plan to watch episode 11 pretty much right right after I finish this one, so ideally by the end of this overall recording session I should be, should be all cut up. But last episode we had a king, and we had a princess, and we had a rebellion start, so I imagine this episode at least... In the early parts, in the early parts, are going to focus on trying to resolve the rebellion, ho hopefully peacefully. The king, I think, implied that he had some kind of hand to play, you know, something, someone to utilize. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to see exactly what that's all about. So, uh, let's jump on in, see how it goes. Three, two, one. And the show is as consistently as always, starting with the opening. Nobody should be surprised by that. What if that guy back there knows he's on camera? You know, he's in the shop. She seems so much more cheerful in that part of the opening than on the show. The opening in ED really did give me the wrong impression of the princess, considering what our first, you know, interaction was with her was like. Trying to go out the window, you know. So I, I take it this is Okay, so that's how they're taking it. <laughs> I mean that might just happen. Yeah, it's it's not fair. Can't can't defend against that. Oh, God. oh, wow, that face. Oh, my God. Oh, that almost gave me a heart attack. Jeez. <laughs> that was like a literal perfect cute facial expression. I... <laughs> yeah, she can't possibly. Yeah, I hear someone else. Uh... Oh God! <laughs> well, there you go. Just big old hard print. <laughs> yeah, you look you look good. It's no you know cheerleader uniform, but it's it's good. <laughs> Like a pop -up. I I disagree. I think it's kind of perfect. You're just a guy inside, so you're not used to it. <clears throat> I mean, if you're... I'm not going to argue with that. What is the next phase? Yeah, we definitely want to keep casualties to a minimum. Capitulate. Plan she thought of. I was 
Jennifer Brzezinski had a face change. It wasn't quite the face I expected. Again, I can live with this. Yeah, just basically get back to normal. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be that easy to sneak away. <laughs> yeah, close. <laughs> what are you, a bug? No. Okay. Well... Ah, uh, there, there she is. At least we found her. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I kind of thought the same thing. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit awkward to meet back up with him, though. She's tiny it? Oh god. <laughs> okay, you just kind of escalated it. Uh, yeah. It was, we helped. We're leaving now. You're welcome. It's more like Paper Mario than a bug now that I think about it. Okay. Yeah, you can't just stay in the middle like that. They'll eventually spot you. Welcome to life. Yeah, but Jean Gucci's not with you right now, so. It makes a big difference him not being around. But to the point, you definitely should have figured out by now. You shut your mouth. She is a Meiwaku that he is more than happy to have. You're cute. That is a very useful skill. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Is that a slime? Did I miss something? How do we go from that to slime? <clears throat> okay. Okay. We are, we're doing this. I guess this is going to help in, in its own way. <laughs> do you want to know? I, well, yeah, that's what I thought. As long as it's not the kind that melts clothes. Yeah, I'm waiting for something to happen here. For some reason, I just keeps. Uh, he's a tough cookie. Oh <laughs> well, yeah. What are we about to do? Uh, it's not my fault, it's society's fault. Uh, I don't like her looking at the symbol. I really don't like this. Uh, this is definitely probably not good. Back to squid. Yeah, I was about to say something might wanna I wanna put your attention on going on right now. Let's 
You really need to stop putting these ideas in her head. You definitely need to stop whatever that is. That was really not, that was really uncalled for. <laughs> yeah, he's there to do the violence for you. The net's still broken, though. A hero? Getting kind of distorted. You fell into something. Yeah, I'm really worried about what exactly she did, though. Like, did she, like, erase the, the status, the symbol? She is very sketchy. And that is moder moderately impressive. Okay, we finally get to find out halfway through the episode, whoever it was. Okay. Okay, that was the person. Really? I mean, I'm glad to see you again, but... I was expecting somebody new. But I mean, it makes sense. He's kind of a hero too, I guess. Uh, not exactly. Yeah, turn around. The king is right over there. You know. <laughs> if only it worked that way. There's no do-overs in life. But I guess you can fake it. Why not? This is much more respectful. <laughs> I mean, he was doing the classic Chuny stuff, but, you know, but... Probably shouldn't do that to a king. <laughs> it's the same exact face we saw earlier. From you, Chun. Makes sense. <laughs> Why aren't you surprised? <laughs> I guess she's like his keeper now. Well, yeah, I guess he probably could have thought about it a little bit. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
I'm a hero. I gotta help people. This man really is a protagonist in his own head. It grew up so fast. <laughs> Mission has been granted. Let's go. So that's a lot of people. You know, safety. <laughs> You like how they're rocking like the idol headbands. Well, good luck. Sasuga Shisho. Gotta cut him off. Not 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 cool. <laughs> Pretty cool line, though. <laughs> well, one of them is Schwartz, the legendary hero. <laughs> the more I sit out for the more it really does grow on me. She will encourage you as best she can from back then. Yes. <laughs> she has faith in you. Have faith in yourself. I mean, they're just like villagers, you know, with pitchforks. <laughs> wow, just kind of everything not avoided, like, fatal damage. I was definitely very skillful. Okay, so that's how that happened. Okay, gotcha. That would probably be for the best. <laughs> Just, yeah, group naked home trip. Let's go, boys. I don't think anyone truly won here. <laughs> well, I guess that was that. So, are you feeling good? I mean, <laughs> you did good. <laughs> did you get any prize money? Man, this is one of the best days of his life. <laughs> I wouldn't get too ahead of yourself. You already hit him. He's still just not sure. My anime truly has started now. I mean, he's separated from Hina chan, so he's not gonna be in a good mood. Yeah, he. I don't think he's been out of this chair. He's not very much. <laughs> Why don't you say it a one punch man over here?
Oh, jeez. Debatable. <laughs> now I feel the fear. That doesn't. That sound doesn't sound very healthy, though. I want to get those knees checked out. It might be too late, but you can try. Yeah, and he's Jinguchi. I see that sweat. <laughs> Barely. You are the kind of man who has worries. Told you. <laughs> Nobody can prove that. I mean, it's complicated. <laughs> These crazy, crazy hypotheses of his. Maybe you should talk to her before you decide things. Yeah, just go talk to her and work things out. Instead of sulking over here. <laughs> Everyone has a death wish. Definitely has the guts to be an Isekai protagonist. <laughs> I mean, one's basically a girl right now, but... <laughs> and we end off on that note. Uh, oof. Yeah, I think he had the same headband there that we saw on the other guys. And we had like a whole episode where Jinguji and Hina-chan didn't say a word to each other. It's pretty crazy to think about. Also, the Shima Pond background, everybody knows before, but it does look like, yeah, Shima Pond <laughs> background, that shot. Shima Pond striped panties, if you don't know what that is. I don't know why I just noticed that. But that's so clearly what that design is. The pattern. I still want to know where the cheerleader uniforms fit into the show. Because we had them wear new, fancy, cute uniforms. So if they were ever going to have the cheerleader uniforms, that'd be the time to do it. But they, they didn't do it. I just also noticed that they had the FBO on them, which I assume stands for a Fantasy Bishoujo Oji-san. Then it's, uh, then it's just uh, the preview. Okay, that was the 10th episode of Fantasy Bishoujo. And yeah, the Rebellion's definitely, you know, it, it's, it's happening, right? We have Hina-chan over there helping rally the troops, you know, get the morale, be, being cute, and the princess also being cute to get people on her side. Very, very effective stuff. Very hilarious stuff. I really did enjoy the big old heart prince, like, into the ground. It was like a foot deep or something, too. Like, it's pretty... Pretty crazy. You know, Chen also think try to run away, but eventually, you know, she got a nice massage and just got it was able to relax. But also the head, the head, the head maid. I was a head priest. The head maid is hella sus because she's got like some kind of animosity towards the goddess. She's like dark aura in the 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 hero status symbol on the back of her neck. Maybe erased it. I don't know quite exactly what happened, but it was some kind of tampering done. Kind of put all these bad thoughts into her head. Kind of like, you know, whispering evil things into your ear kind of kind of situation. It, it can't be good. Definitely can't be good. So, I'm sure we'll get more on exactly what, what that's all about later on. But, and of course, more 
flashbacks on that Jinguji Hinachan friendship, right? The first meetings and all that. And, um, you know, bringing up the idea that Hinachan could be a bit of a, like, a burden on him, right? Because obviously, out of the two of them, Jinguji is the one that pulls the weight, you know, helps, helps him, saves him, all that stuff. And we see how things go when he's not around. So, you know, also a good thing to bring up. So, but yeah, really, they just need to actually meet back up and actually talk things through. Because they just both in their respective corners thinking about the other person. And, you know, just, it doesn't, it's not going to make any progress. They need to actually, actually meet. We did get Schwartz again, which is cool. I almost made, I almost commented in the opening that it's been a while since we'd seen him. But yeah, here we go. He, he did show up to, to help save the day. <laughs> Even though his initial meeting with the king was a little bit awkward because he just apparently didn't realize the king was in there. But he was able to redo it, you know, going full Chuni. And, yeah, it, it went pretty well, I would say. But, yeah, he went out there, he used the sword, tore up clothes and headbands, and just kind of resolved things, I, I guess. Right? But, I know they all just got to march naked home together, you know. Just, just how, it, how it goes sometimes, I guess. But, yeah, after that, he was really on cloud nine. Like, he had to really feel that protagonist energy. Just one of the best days he's ever had. But then he had Jinguji, you know, his dark, upset aura. Because <laughs> he's just, like, he's, he's not the most tactful person in the world. So, he, when he's trying to talk about the whole Hinachan thing with him, he kind of put his foot in his mouth a little bit. And um, triggering Jinguji. He's just, he's lucky he didn't get murdered in that scene. It's all I'm, it's all I'm saying. But... That was, but that was pretty much the episode. You know, we ended off on, I think, an explosion or something in the background. And yeah, next episode we get to see, we get to see how things go. And I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll see that pretty much in a few minutes because the episode's already out, already downloaded, and I'm already ready to watch it. Just gotta finish this one first. So um, yeah, with all that said and done, bye bye.